Hi, my name is Steve Harrison and I'm going to be presenting my classroom management plan. I broke the plan into two sections as you can see on my chart. The first section is called the foundation of classroom management and uh, it has two parts to it. Firstly, inward, uh, believing the best and the second part is confidence. And after that I've talked about an outward foundation of classroom management which is modeling and mentoring. And then I have three strands below that. The first strand is called environmental management. The second strand is called behavior management. And the third strand is called learning management. Environmental management has three parts to it. Physical, uh, what does the room look like? Uh, technology, how technology is going to be used. The second part has, uh, is called emotional. Uh, the kind of uh, emotional environment that I want to provide in my classroom. Safe, warm, caring, uh, expectations, and fairness and respect. And the third part uh, of the environmental management plan is daily routine, procedures and transitions. How important are they? My second section is called behavior management. This is to do with uh, prevention of unwanted behavior stands of conduct, uh, communication, rewards, and prevention strategies. And the second part is intervention. And it has three parts, consequences, uh, intervening strategies, and monitoring. And the third strand is called learning management. Is uh, firstly instructional activities. I'm planning to prepare high quality lessons for diverse learners, these lessons are going to be challenging, engaging, pacing, enriching, uh, questioning strategies, homework, technology, resource materials, how they're going to be used. And the second part of my learning management section is to do with communication, uh, instruction that is both verbal and visual, feedback, quality, feedback that's in a timely fashion, and assessment. So that's an overview of my classroom management plan. Uh, if I could just say a few things about each section. Um, the first section is uh, inward and it's called Believe in the Best. Smith in his 2004 book called Conscious Classroom Management says this, effective teachers have internalized certain key positive assumptions about their students and themselves. We need to unearth, identify, and focus on these assumptions because they form the foundation of our entire teaching experience and frame every action we take. When we start to assume the best about our students and ourselves, teaching changes and results happen. I have uh, uh, incorporated this in a section that I uh, am calling not just uh, assuming the best, but believing the best. And uh, this is uh, kind of linked in with, with what I believe about God's love for us, that as a person understands God loves them, that they can love other people and assume the best about them. The second part uh, of our, if the inward foundation is confidence. And uh, confidence is defined as a quiet assurance that a person feels when they are doing what they are made for. And confidence comes from understanding that, that teaching is a calling. And uh, Smith calls this the inner authority. And um, the second part is an outward strategy modeling. Uh, again, in Smith's book, he focuses on the fact that uh, we must not only teach with words, but also with our lifestyle. And Dr. Henrietta Mee has put it this way, you teach a little by what you say, you teach the most by who you are. And uh, this is a very important quality of a good classroom management plan, is being able to model the kind of behavior that you're expecting from your students. Another part to this confidence is a positive attitude. Strongy in his 2002 book states this, effective teachers exude positive attitudes about life and teaching. And I believe that a teacher must be positive. In Romans 8, 28, Paul says this, and we know that all things God works for the good 
of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. He taught that God is working in and through all of life's difficulties to strengthen us and help us to become better people. This is an important principle to model to students. The second part of my outward plan is mentoring, is finding somebody uh, or a number of people who can honestly build into our lives to make us more effective teachers. That covers the foundation. Um, these three strands, environmental. My classroom management plan uh, covers seating, it covers where the desk will be arranged. Um, I'm using uh, Zapoli and Malloy's recommendations in their 1993 book uh, that I will be close to students. I will circulate through the classroom and be willing to answer questions and willing to help those that ask. Also involved in the physical management of a classroom is technology. Uh, making sure that technology is used to enhance and enrich instruction. The environment must be safe, warm and caring. Strongly puts it this way, teachers who create a supportive and warm classroom environment tend to be more effective with students. I will endeavour to ensure the classroom is a safe place for each student. I will make positive connections with students, getting to know them. I will seek to be encouraging, affirming, guiding and not manipulating. Strongly also recommends that we retain a sense of fun, a willingness to play or participate. High expectations, which is the second part of my emotional characteristic, is very important. Uh, many studies have shown that students have improved performance when high standards are communicated and set by the teacher. Fairness and respect. Fairness has to do with um, treating students equally. But as Zapoli and Malloy state, it's a myth that all children should be treated the same way. All children have individual needs that call for individual attention. So my classroom will be uh, both fair but also treating students on an individual basis. Daily routine, uh, I've got uh, the daily routine planned in my management plan. Uh, procedures and transitions. Wong states in his 2005 book, the number one problem in the classroom is not discipline. It's the lack of procedures and routines. And so I've outlined a daily plan uh, to cover moving, the moving from classroom to classroom, entering the classroom, leaving the classroom, and other parts of classroom life. Uh, this brings me to my second strand, behavior management. Uh, prevention. I'm having uh, have uh, clearly stated codes of conduct. Um, I'm going to base my... Uh, classroom management prevention plan on Luke 6.31, which is what we know as the golden rule. Treat others the same way as you want them to be treated. And these three questions will guide my students' behavior. Is it safe? Is it kind? Is it productive? And there's three R's that are used in my prevention communication. Reminding, reinforcing, and redirecting. I'm not going to be using rewards as I feel these are... Uh, an unnecessary external motivation. I'm going to seek to intrinsically motivate my students. Uh, intervention will be only when necessary. Consequences will be logical and the students will know uh, what those consequences are ahead of time. And there's a very good strategy listed in teaching today uh, that has uh, a few points. The first point is stop and think. Evaluate options. Uh, removing student from a situation, responding to behavior individually, privately, quietly, calmly and fairly. These are great reminders on how to discipline when things do go wrong. The third part of my uh, management plan is learning management. And um, I believe this is, should be the focus of uh, the classroom management plan. The more planned a teacher is, the less discipline problems they are likely to encounter. And there are seven sections that I've divided my lesson preparation into. Um, the first one is it must be engaging, it must address diverse learners, it must be challenging, pacing and enriching. There must be questioning strategies, technology is a valuable resource that must be used. Homework should be practice, preparation and elaboration. The resource materials must be effectively used. 
and communication must be both formal and informal with students. Well, that's an overview of my classroom management plan. Uh, thank you for listening, and goodbye.